Good morning, dear students. Now we shall going to see about special series. Some special series. What are the special series? The special series of see. Sum of the first n natural numbers. What is the sum of the first n natural numbers? What is the sum of first n natural numbers? We say 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus n. Okay, what is the sum? And then second one is sum of the squares of the first n natural numbers. Sum of the squares, squares of the first n natural numbers. Which means 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. We take the squares of the natural numbers and add. Then comes sum of the cubes, sum of the cubes of the first n natural numbers. That is 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus etc plus n cube. What is the formula to find out all these things? Okay, sum of the first n natural numbers. Okay, the formula you see. Sum of the first n natural numbers means it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus n. And the formula is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. This is the formula to find out the sum of the first n natural numbers. So you can see this is an AP arithmetic progression 1 plus 2 plus 3. So this is an arithmetic series because we are taking the sum. This becomes an arithmetic series. Number of terms is n last term is n and the first term is so we use the formula n by 2 into a plus l n by 2 into a plus l with first term plus last term so here you get n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and symbolically we can represent this like this summation means we generally use the symbol sigma sigma k and what is this k this k ranging from 1 to n k is 1 to n so we put the k is equal to 1, then k is equal to 2, k is equal to 3, like that up to n, we take the summation. So this is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So this is the symbolic form. Sigma k where k is equal to 1 to n, n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Similarly, this one, sum of the squares of the first year natural numbers denoted by 1 square, 2 square, 3 square plus etc plus n square. What's the formula here? n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Okay. Is this an arithmetic series? No. Is it a geometric series? No. Then how will we prove this? To prove this, we will take that uh, mathematical induction and all. Okay. That's not required now. You just uh, remember the formula. Okay. 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square etc. to n square is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6. So what is the symbolical form of this? So sigma k square where k is equal to 1 to n. k is 1 to n. So when we put a k is equal to 1, this becomes 1 square. k is equal to 2, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square like that up to n square. Sigma means the summation. So this is a symbolical representation. So this is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Okay. And so here sum of the cubes. Cubes means here it is 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube plus n cube and here the formula is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 the whole square n into n plus 1 divided by 2 the whole square here also we require that uh, mathematical reduction it's not there for you so you just remember the formula n into n plus 1 by 2 the whole square so symbolical notation sigma k cube where k is equal to 1 to n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 the whole square. So special series some three types we saw one is sum of the first year natural numbers second one sum of 
the squares of the first tier natural numbers. Third one, the sum of the cubes. Just observe this formula. You can see some relationship between uh, formula number 1 and formula number 3. Here sigma k is n into n plus 1 by 2. Here sigma k cube is n into n plus 1 by 2, the whole square. The square of this. So some relationship. So we can write like this, in the relationship. So this one you can note down. Very important, that is sigma k cube k is equal to 1 to n is equal to sigma k k is equal to 1 to n the whole square so sum of the first n terms are given and you are asked to find out sum of the cubes of the first n terms you just take the square of this and another thing is and sigma k is equal to 1 to n k is equal to sigma k cube k is equal to 1 to n the square root ok when sum of the cubes of the first n terms are given and you are asked to find out the sum of the n terms you just take the square root that's all ok just take the square root so these things you need to remember before solving exercise 2.9. So all this formula, okay, keep in mind. Let's go to 2.9. Thank you.